gentlemen, the first order of business I'm going to ask you to do is to please mute or shut off your cell phones. I'm Terry Lyons. I'm the clerk to the Board of Freeholders. And again, welcome to this reorganization meeting. Second, the Board of Chosen Freeholders would like to thank you for attending the 2019 annual reorganization meeting and appreciate your interest in county government and your community. Best wishes to all for a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. At this time, I'd like to call this annual reorganization meeting of the Board of Chosen Freeholders to order. Now, I'm going to take a lot of pleasure in this because this is the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> bow our heads and pray. Loving and gracious God, we come before you this evening on this new year of 2019. We ask your continued blessings upon the county of Sussex and all her elected officials, especially those who serve and protect this community, the police, fire, EMS, and first responders. May we always be mindful of our calling to serve one another. Let us also pause a moment as we remember those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice by their lives for our protection and freedom, both on foreign and domestic soil. May we always remember their heroic lives as it gives us pause to be grateful, thankful, and appreciative of the rights and freedoms we enjoyed this new year and all the years to come. We make all our prayers in the name of him who came to serve rather than to be served, Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Testimony 
Uh, I have here to set my hand, Jeffrey M. Powell, Sussex County Clerk. Okay? Thank you. On behalf of the clerk's office, I want to say thank you very much for everybody coming out. I wish everybody health and happiness to you and your families during 2019, and I congratulate all the candidates. Thank you. take the oath of office as the surrogate of Sussex County. Yes, sir. Would you repeat after me, please? You, Gary R. Trezano, do solemnly swear. I, Gary R. Trezano, do solemnly swear. That you will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States and in this state. In the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that you will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties of the office of. Perform all the duties of the office of. Surrogate for the County of Sussex. Surrogate for the County of Sussex. To fill a five year term. To fill a five year term. Said term to expire December 31, 2023. Said term to expire December 31st. 2023. To which you have been duly elected. To which I have been duly elected. According to the best of your ability. According to the best of my ability. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Solemnly swear. I don't Fantasia do solemnly swear. That you will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States and in this state. In the United States and under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that you will faithfully, and, that I will faithfully and, justly and justly perform all the duties of the office of perform all the duties of the office of freeholder for the county of Sussex. Freeholder for the county of Sussex. To fill a three year term. To fill a three year term. Said term to expire on December 31, 2021. Said term to expire on December 31, 2021. To which you have been duly elected. To which I have been duly elected. According to the best of your ability. According to the best of my ability. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations.
Josh? I, Joshua Hertzberg. I, Joshua Hertzberg. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, and I will faithfully and justly, I will faithfully and justly perform all the duties of the office of freeholder, perform all the duties of the office of freeholder, to fill a three-year term, to fill a three-year term, said term to expire December 31st, 2021, said term to expire December 31st, 2021, to which you have been appointed, to which I have been appointed, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God.
Yes, I'd like to nominate Sylvia Patillo for Deputy Director of the Real Estate Board. I will second that. Any other nominations? Any closing? Roll call. Freeholder Fantasia? Yes. Freeholder Graham? Yes. Freeholder Hertzberg? Yes. Freeholder Patillo? Yes. Freeholder Yard? Yes. Councilman Dan Flynn, <laughs> Councilman J. 
Jason Jason Schlapper. Union Councilman Matthew Dixon. President Gene Murphy. Franklin Council President uh, Stephen Skelliger. Jerry Murphy. Back on Councilman uh, Ryan Smith. Um, Franklin Councilman Joe Lamone.
fortunate to uh, become a freeholder in April of uh, 2013 when Parker moved up to the assembly. And uh, I had spent a number of years as councilman. I served as council president. And it was my, my reasoning at the time, it was the next step. The county was in good hands. It was running very well. But I didn't realize that there was something on the horizon. I won't go into what was on the horizon, but it made changes in our lives, made changes in life. But the, the change of that, what really changed was the county completely moved from one generation to another generation. We have a generation of leadership now, of management now, that is really unparalleled. It was all put together by need. And it was all put in by the people that were that were uh, exceptional in their jobs, not just their resumes and, and who they knew, but who knew how to make things better as we went forward. Mr. Poff, I, I, uh, I look forward to working for you with you before I even you came to the county. And uh, you've done a very good job. When I was listening to Dawn a few minutes ago, she was talking about the needs. But what's also very important in that is execution. To say that we need something or that we want something or that we're going to do something is one thing. But to actually carry it out, carry it out efficiently and effectively, that is what county government is. We're not, we're, we're legislators in some ways, and in other ways we're good managers. And I, I, uh, I respect the people that we, that we have uh, worked with. I want to congratulate Josh and Dawn. Uh, I want to congratulate her this year for being director. Um, in my year as director, I want to say that I said more than once, what the hell did I get myself into? I hope that you don't say it as many times as I did. <laughs> um, I want to congratulate Sylvia as deputy director. And I want to stress something that I stressed in our last frequent meeting when we had discussions that were sometimes a little bit edgy. Respect and civility. It's something that seems to have gone out of fashion but I think that Sussex County may very well be the last vestige of where that can continue. I want to thank the county employees, many of them I see in the room today, that go above and beyond what their paychecks allow. I want to thank the volunteers, those people that volunteer on our boards and commissions. People don't realize how many boards, how many volunteers that we have that actually keep the wheels of government moving. Uh, as I said, I started this, this uh, journey in, in April of 2013. I was elected in 13 and again in 16. And I feel that my time is, has come. I'm not running the ship. It's not my interest in, in continuing on. But I know there are a lot of good people out there. I encourage anybody that this is a good job. This is a job worth moving towards. I, I like seeing people who have experience and respect for the process. And uh, again, I want to pledge myself to uh, the director and the deputy director this year, everything that I can do to help things move along. One thing, I, I'm reading a book right now by Stephen Hawkins, and uh, one of the premises in it was the fact that, uh, that if you don't know your history, you don't know where you're going. You have to go backwards and try and figure it out. We are a civilization with that, with basically with amnesia. There's a lot of history here. Don't, don't forget to look back. I know her guys a lot of it, but don't forget to look back. Sometimes when you look back, you can see forward. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm going to bounce around from reading to just talking. And I won't forget anything, so I did write some notes. But I first and foremost want to thank all the residents voters of Sussex County for electing me and Dawn here, putting their faith in us to do our job here. Um, all of you for coming tonight. I want to thank Judge Paris Eliadis for yeah. taking the trip out here to swear me yeah. Thank you. I want to thank all of the many supporters. I don't want to, I could have just said ditto to Dawn's speech, but I, I figured I should say something. <laughs> um, you know, District 24, Steve, Steve, Al Parker, thank you guys for the support and the leadership. Sheriff Strada, our campaign, Kelly and Anthony, um, were always there for us. You know, this is uh, this is the first time I had run a campaign. I had no idea what I was doing, if I'm being slightly honest. And uh, I appreciate having you guys in our corner. Um, my team, Ross B. Ross, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, of course, my roommate Dawn, who uh, you know was always there when I couldn't be, and, and was a great teammate. And I we share a lot of the same vision. I look forward to, to working with you in the future. Um, like, like Dawn said, 
said, you know, we leave behind, you leave your township, you leave behind your, your co-workers and my, some of my council members that are here, Molly, Jerry, uh, my town manager, Bill. It's, it's been a true honor working with you guys. I learned a lot and uh, thank you guys for the time. And I have to thank, you know, being that I have a full-time job, it's really hard to work as hard as you want and do all the things you want to get done and still have a job and still have a family. So I'm very thankful to Harold and Dennis Daggett and my ILA family for always being there to support me and supporting my love for community service and letting me do that. Um, my biggest thank you always goes to my family. Even, even when they're talking the whole time and making me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, serving, serving as mayor and running a campaign, I was out at least four nights a week. And you know, I know that the kids complained a lot that I wasn't home but they all, they all were there for me and supported me. And uh, Eliana, Kyle, Jackson, thank you guys so much. My mom, who was picking up someone's slack when, when I would call and say I'm not gonna make it. Um, my, my biggest thank you is reserved for my wife, Erica, who is always my right hand man, and uh, still juggling the, the little one over there. Um, you're always the one doing the hard work at home so that I can continue my public service. Thank you enough for what you do. Thank you. Um, I, I, I have to tell a quick story. I was uh, driving the day after I had my reorg at Sparta and I stepped down. And I was driving the kids to school in the morning and I, I said to my nine year old Jackson, I said, you know, it's kind of a, uh, it's like a, you know, bittersweet. You know, I, I, I can't help all the people, you know, all my friends and all my family that live in town, all the people I grew up with, I don't get to help them anymore. <coughs> He says, yeah, but don't you get to help more people now? And I was like, wow. And I drove for a little bit and I was like, yeah, buddy, you're right. I do get to help more people now. And you know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. So I look forward to the challenges that lie ahead of us. I know uh, whatever they are, that we'll meet them head on as a team with sound judgment and with the best interest of Sussex County residents at heart. I know that this, this group will do that. And I just want to thank you guys for the opportunity to serve. And I look forward to getting to work. Thank you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our 2019 reorganization meeting. My speech may be a little bit longer. I tend to always have a lot to say. Um, and I would like to congratulate Dawn Plantation and Josh tonight. Um, I know they got a, a long haul in Savat. Tonight, I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you a review of some of our prior year accomplishments and the goals that I would like to see in place for the coming year. In 2018, the board reorganized the Office of County Council, Department of Finance and Library Services in order to improve operational efficiency and to deliver effective service. And through the work of our county administrator and the CFO, the county is in a long range this affirmation demonstrates the strength of the county organization and the commitment of its elected officials and staff to manage well. This also positions the county to receive more competitive interest rates on bonds and notes and reduce our borrowing costs. In addition, the board has continued its outreach to the municipalities and the public to improve access to services that the county provides. To accomplish this, we held two forums highlighting human services programs and mental health services. Then a special meeting of the board was held for the 24 municipal governments within the county. Our administrative departments provided an overview of services which were of particular interest to local governments. The county also redesigned and improved security of its website so residents would have greater and easier access to our service offerings. The board has overseen an expansion of our shared service 
with local governments, including the provision of fire prevention services to Andover and Branchville boroughs, um, Branchville boroughs and the 9-11 service for Byron Township. The county continues to identify opportunities with state and federal programs and partners to develop new ways of providing cost-effective services to our residents. One of our new initiatives includes developing a transit on demand pilot program with transportation networking companies such as Lyft. We are working on the development of trails by securing a federal lands access program grant for a portion of Papakating Valley Trail. And we are also obtaining federal transit administration grant funds for the purchase of state-of-the-art transit vehicles that will improve traffic congestion and air quality. Now, looking forward to the new year, there are a number of goals I would like to mention this evening and hope with the cooperation and the support of the board we will be able to implement in 2019. These include having an annual goal setting session, integrating budget development with the stated goals of the board, improving the lines of communication with municipalities, and strengthening countywide economic development. I truly believe that an annual goal setting session with the Board of Chosen Freeholders is important because it would give us the opportunity to become better acquainted with each other and gain a greater understanding of the challenges facing county government. A planning session would also give freeholders a chance to present issues that are important to them and it enables the board to create an opportunity where we can actually brainstorm strategies together. This process will then provide us with a mechanism to take our goals and communicate them to our administrators and our division directors so they can be integrated into their work plans. I believe that providing guidance to our staff will lead to a better budget process where the implementation of freeholder goals can be coupled with good planning and fiscal restraint. <laughs> As I previously stated, this board has made considerable effort in its outreach to municipal partners to inform and improve access to the many services that the county has to offer. I would also like to see these lines of communication continue and improve by holding additional forums on health services and shared service opportunities that local governments can consider. It would also be nice to continue to hold three or four freeholder meetings a year around the county outside of Newton. These meetings have been very well received by our residents. They enjoy having a chance to see the actions taken by this board, and they provide us with valuable feedback that we might not otherwise hear. Now for economic development. The board in 2018 made the first of a three-year commitment to the Economic Development Partnership, and I feel strongly that this should be continued and improved upon. The draft 2019 county budget also contemplates the reorganization of the Division of Planning, a group that plays an important role in our economic development. And along with this, the county should also continue to identify state and federal resources that can be leveraged towards future planning. This includes the freeholder support of the Western Scenic Byway and working with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and National Park Service. In closing, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the county's department administrators, division directors, supervisors, employees, and the countless volunteers that serve on the numerous boards and advisory groups that contribute to the quality of life we enjoy here in Sussex. I would like to thank my colleagues on the board for their support and welcome their guidance in our future endeavors. And finally, on behalf of myself, I would like to thank all of you for your support and help in making Sussex County a wonderful place to live, work, and raise a family. I also want to thank my loving husband, or better known as the driver, for all of his patience and support as well during the year. There is always this wonderful sense of hope in the promise of a new year. 
And I'm very excited because I truly believe that 2019 will be a very productive and a successful year for the county. And with that, I want to thank you so much for being here this evening. And I wish you all a very healthy, safe, prosperous, and happy new year. Thank you. Last but not least, I only have about 20 pages. <laughs> and you may hear some similar, similar, uh, they love you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to forget. I'm taking notes. <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Chosen Freeholders and our county administration, I'd like to begin by helping you here. I'd like to thank you for your continued support, and somehow the start of the new year brings a sense of renewed energy, positivity, positivity that is necessary to invoke change. I plan to use that energy to face challenges we have in our county and lead this freeholder board collaboratively to achieve results that will make our residents proud to say they live in Sussex County. Communication is key to all the aspects of our lives and must be the forefront for this administration. We provide many services to our residents and we must recognize that you all are our customers. We must improve the way we keep you informed. We must be aware of the needs and wants because we are here to serve you. I believe that we need to have better methods in place to assess the satisfaction of services we already provide and the ability to determine the need for services currently not in the county. I've spoken to many people throughout the county and they've voiced their concerns regarding taxes, the value of their homes, transportation to work, just to name a few. We can start to address these concerns by making simple changes. We must streamline the procedures that are currently in place, such as reviewing forms that are used to improve the ease of their use. We should reach out in some non-traditional ways to provide information, such as possibly local community newsletters. Additionally, I feel partnering more, par partnering more with the Sussex County Community College would provide another avenue to communicate with the young people order to get their feedback. The county website has recently been upgraded and offers improved means for people to search for information. The home screen says, how can we help? How can we help? I'd like our board to remember we are here because of the residents and we are here to help them. I've also been asked if there is a way towns can link specific topics to our county website. I'd like to request the administration reach out to municipalities and assist them with determining how we can partner to improve communication between them. I think you hear a little bit of a trend here in a couple of years. We are home to a variety of companies ranging in size from small to very large. When I ran for office, I said I wanted to work with our local businesses to improve the economy in Sussex County. In particular, I believe the Sussex County Chamber of Commerce is a good place to start. I'm pleased to report last year for the first time in many years, the county joined the Economic Development Partnership. That was the first for many, many years and very important. Many of the municipalities also have economic development boards, some of which I have attended, and they are working to encourage businesses to stay in the county and helping them to be successful. I plan to continue to work with the Chamber and those businesses to increase eco-tourism <coughs> and economic development opportunities to raise our rateable base, jobs of the engineering, keep our county viable. I also ran on the premise of no third party bonding without voter approval. We must pass a safety net to ensure that voters have a say when the county's asked to back bonds that are outside the normal county responsibility. And I'm asking this board to make that a priority and be the vote put it out there and vote on it or vote now. I would like to have continued support for services within our county, such as the Municipal Alliance programs, the Center for Prevention, Counseling. These services are more important than ever. As 
we struggle with the opioid epidemic facing our county. Here for the county will stay active and be involved in programs like CLEAR and other support and preventive and treatment services. These programs are available through the county. As, a, as freeholders continue connecting to the community, this is a key and important aspect of what we must do. In the future, I'd like to see us look at ways we can expand our communication with the citizens, civic groups, and municipal leaders. <coughs> Lastly, I'd like to focus our energy toward the Veterans and Peer Program, transportation issues, and continued support for agencies that provide preventative services. I'm proposing that the State Office of Veterans Affairs be placed in the County Administration Building, in addition to the Office of Franklin. Having this service in the county seat would prevent, <coughs> would prevent Sussex County veterans from having to drive to Dover. I'm asking you to <coughs> assist the state. In closing, I want to say I'm looking forward to the upcoming year. I have stressed the need for improvement in communication and collaborative collaboration many times during my remarks. I think transparency will be a common thread among this freeholder board. All of you will be requesting liaison positions to various departments, and that will be made at a later date. I encourage all freeholders to consider how much time you have to devote to these departments and their divisions. It's my hope that sharing of information would take place on a monthly basis. This would enable all of the freeholders to have all of the information. I'd like to thank you all for the opportunity, all of you out there, and this board. Uh, for the opportunity to serve you, and I look forward to working with all of you in the upcoming year. Thanks very much. So, I'm going to, so we can pull those in both. 
what those are separate. Right. So that's what we're going to do. 29 and 30 will be voted on separately. So we're going to be uh, voting on number 14 to 20. We,